Hey guys, this is Volvo and today in this tutorial, I will show how we can create this kind of particles effect in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful and without any further delay, let's start today's video. So here I'm using Blender 3.6.5, nice. So first of all, let's clear this default and we're pressing A on the keyboard and delete. Now let's import the model here. You can use any kind of model. Here I will be using this Blender kit to get the models and by the way, Blender kit is free to download. So here I will search as statue. So from here, I will select this host statues. Just simply click on this image. It will be loaded here. Now let's increase the scaling. So press S and increase the scaling here. So now let's add particle system onto this object. So select the object, come to this particle system. Click on this plus icon to add the particle system. So now if I play this, you get particles emitting from the statue. So here I want the particles to be emitting at the first frame only. So I will change this end frame value to one so that all the particles will be visible at the first frame so if i play this all the particles will fall down so here if you want to increase the particle count we need to increase this number so i will do that at the time of render so for demonstration purpose i will leave this 2000 only so lifetime let's change this to 250 that means this particles will be visible till 250 frames here time length is 250 right so i change this to 250 so if you want to reduce the particles lifetime you can reduce that one so now instead of these particles we need to add an object so for that you can use any kind of object so here i will be using ecosphere so go to this add mesh select this ecosphere and let's place this aside so now instead of these particles we need to add this ecosphere so select the object scroll down come to this render drop down so rendered as it's set to hollow change this to object and in object select this ecosphere now you can see we got that ecosphere so from here only you can increase the scaling or decrease the scaling so i will change this to 0 0.05 and scale randomness i will give this a bit 0.3 and here if you want to have this main object visible in the render you can enable this one if you disable this one we won't get this main object we will get the particles visible at the time of render so disable this show emitter option if you don't want to have this main object visible in render let's enable this object rotation also nice so i think this is fine now if you play this we got these particles falling down so now scroll down and let's come to this field options so here gravity is set to 100 that means this gravity will be acting on the particles so here i don't want these particles to be falling down from the starting frame only so let's make this gravity zero at the starting so now the particles will not be falling down but they are getting scattered all around so we need to take that option also so scroll up come to this velocity options and here change this normal to zero so now if i play this you can see the particles will be remaining there only so here I will come to this 30 frames and here I will add a keyframe for normal so add a keyframe here and come to this gravity option also so keep this mouse cursor on this value press I on the keyboard now the keyframe will be added here you can see we got a keyframe right so after I will move 10 frames forward and I will change this value to 1 and I will press I on the keyboard to add a keyframe so from 0 to 30 frames there will not be any gravity acting on the particles after 30 frames the gravity will be in progressive manner here you can see if i move this here it will be increasing so this gravity will be in progressive manner and now if i play this you can see the particles are falling after 30 frames nice so now we need to add a plane in order to make the particles collide with that plane so go to this add mesh select a plane here let's increase the scaling so i think this much is fine let's apply the scale so in order to make these particles collide with the plane we need to add collision property for this plane so select the plane come to this physics property and add collision so here if i play this you can see the particles are colliding with the plane but they are bouncing too much so let's reduce that so for that we need to come to this damping options so here i will give a damping value of 0.85 now let's check this so if i play this once again now you can see they are not bouncing much so let's add some randomness for this falling particles so for that we need to use force field so go to this add come to this force field and select this turbulence so press s and increase the scaling so now if i play this you can see the particles will be moving from the starting frame only so here i don't want that to be happen i want that to happen after 30 frames only so here you can see we have added keyframe for 30 right so let's be on that frame now select this turbulence strength make it zero sorry make it zero press i on the keyboard to add a keyframe so come to this noise option here by default this is set to zero which is good so press i on the keyboard to add a keyframe so now we have set a zero value at the 30th frame so now come to this 35th frame here 
and let's change the value to I think 15 is fine press I on the keyboard to add a keyframe and noise amount I will change this to 10 and add a keyframe by pressing I or else you can click on this dot here to add a keyframe so now if I play this you can see the particles are falling in a much nice manner nice so here we need to add some friction value for this plane in order to avoid these particles scatter away so select the plane come to this uh, where is this come to this friction value and increase the friction value so i will give this as one so now if i play this we will have the particles staying there only so if you want to reduce the amount or if you want to like the particles to be scattered a bit reduce the friction value select the plane and reduce the friction value so let's check 0.85 and let's see how this looks let's select the particles and play okay so i think this is fine so here i don't want these particles to fall down that much quickly so i, I will reduce the gravitation so let's select the particle system so come to this frame where we have set this one value right so if i move on to the particle system so come to this gravity options and i will change this to 0.5 and press i on the keyboard to add a keyframe so now let's check this once again so now the particle should fall down with less speed okay so here you may encounter some problems so here you can see the particles are going through the plane so let's fix that so again select the particles come to the particle system scroll down come to this physics option come to this deflection and click on this size deflect option so let's check this once again now you can see the particles are not going through the plane so if you want to enable the rotation enable the rotation value here and give it some randomness so that the particles will rotate a bit so now let's move on to this material viewport and let's add some materials onto these particles so here we are using this ecosphere right so let's change the material of this ecosphere so select the ecosphere so for materials also i will be using this blender kit so come to this material options so apply gold so such as gold so from here i will apply this material just simply click on the image it will be loaded onto the ecosphere and later these particles also get that same material so here you can see the particles also got that material so now let's select this ground plane and i will look for tiles and i will search that so i will select these tiles so simply click on the image it will be loaded so again press tab key for edit mode press a to select all the vertices u and smart uv project click on ok now we got this proper nice so now let's move on to this render viewport so here the scene is looking dark so we need to light up the scene so here i will be using hdra so click on this world properties let's change the color to black and click on this yellow dot click on this environment texture so from here i will load hdra so click on this open and select the hdra so i will select this hdra here and open image now we got light in the scene now come to this render settings enable ambient occlusion and distance i will change this to 5 i think 5 is fine enable the screen space reflections refractions and also enable this transparent option from film if you want to have transparent background so now this is looking good and if you want to add motion blur you can do that so here i don't want to add motion blur onto the particle so i will not enable this one so after that come to this output properties by default this is set to full hd you can change the resolution here enable this render region crop to render region frame rate you can change it here i will leave this to 24 only so frame start and end here you can change the values so i think i i need only 200 frames so i will change this to 200 only so once this is done come to this output option here we need to select a folder where we can save the output files so i select a folder quickly simply click on that and I select a folder so here i have selected output folder so now come to this file format options and here if you want to render this in video format use this ffmpeg video here i will render this in png and if you are using png make sure this rgba is selected okay so once the settings are done first let's bake the simulation so for this simulation particle simulations we need to bake the simulation first so select this object come to this particles option scroll down so come to this catchy option here here we need to click on this bake button just simply click on this bake button it will bake the simulation so now let's add a camera in the same so go to this add camera now control alt 0 to see through camera now press n on the keyboard come to this view options and lock to 3d cursor and camera to view now we can adjust the camera angle here so now let's add light in the scene to get the shadows so go to this add light add sun 
so let's place the sun here here the position doesn't matter for the sun so let's rotate this here so now here if i rotate this you can see we are getting the shadow so let's increase the intensity so come to this light properties strength i will change this to 5 so now we can see that shadow properly or else let's change this to 3 okay so once this is done just go to this render and click on this render animation so here i will increase the particle count so let's select the object come to this particle system first we need to release this bake so click on this delete bake option and let's increase the particle numbers to 100k would be fine so here i have added this 100k particles and after that just click on this bake button so once the bake is done go to this render and render animation so in this way we can create this kind of particles animation or simulation blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye